Check, check. I can actually afford to make things a little louder. How do I sound now? I think I'm okay with this. All right, all right, all right. How's everybody doing? Let me just pull up our handy dandy guidebook. And by guidebook, I mean website. So, real quick, before we move on, I had said that we were not going to bother. However, 283 flowers is a lot to give up. I think we should at least try to um, find Jose. Could it be? And as long as we're here, we may as well um, try to get whatever stamps while we're looking for him. I did also lower the sound effects volume, so hopefully they're not, like, so loud this time. Oh, I guess I could have just gone down. I didn't need to do this. Let me also go ahead and just I'll delete that one. I think the rest of these are ones we actually fused. So keep those. And I just need Jose to show up on one floor and then we're done. sell water in vending machines, yet tap water is readily available. It baffles me. I know, right? I don't know why people waste money on fancy water. While that is a big mood a lot of the time, uh, oops, I forgot to turn on my captions. One second. Let me see. 
Does this app work with Firefox yet? It looks like it does not. Like, I want to delete Chrome so bad, but the little tool that I use to get closed captions generating for the stream seems to only work in Chrome. So, like, I guess all of my stuff will be in Firefox except my captions. There we go. Okay. Honestly... stamp located we're doing great would still love to see jose i'm not overly worried about stamps if we have to come back but i do want to use up these flowers speak of the devil and he shall appear let's go So we don't want to rush because we want people to interject with like the one more or whatever it is, like the not the opportunities for knockdowns. Or the show times, either or. Maybe both. Case in point. Also, I've been playing Nocturne in my spare time. I've been having a real hard time keeping straight, like, which demons I've unlocked in Nocturne versus, like, which personas I have in 5. Like, I'm not necessarily trying to get them all, but it would be nice to have them all. All right, let's break this wall, find a free stamp. We'll take it. We got 14 stamp points. Got to count for something. How many shadows are there? They've been fighting him forever. Yeah, we want that, that, or. Great items, what do we got? Doing soul. Um. Anything else that we're, like, wanting to have? I guess we'll take those just because they're an item we don't have. I think it is still faster to find the stairs to the next area. We've reached the platform.
Let's do it. Go ahead and delete the personas we don't need. We have so much money. I feel like we've got to be able to do some stuff with that. But let's also, let's, eh, we'll wait to fix our equipment until later. But for now, I think we can head back. The guy does say to make sure you've got every stamp. I don't think we need to worry about that. Insanely good gamer they call the king. We're teammates. You don't got to be so stiff. do that. What? You're so stiff, like right here and here. Master. Oh. See you later. We'll do the crossword. Let's see, we got Tsukimi Lunar Viewing. Prayer site, probably church. Oh, there is not a C there. Many lack time for these. Buzzkill victim. Just for fun. Prayer site. Oh, maybe shrine? Many lack time for these. What could that be? Um. Ch -ch -ch. Well, we know what this is, so. Just roll with that. I totally know what Tsukimi is. 
That's right, it's a traditional festival for viewing the moon in the fall. I knew that. Definitely. All right. I see. Nice. So we are supposed to go to Kanda with a star persona. We do have one, so let's just go there. Thank you very much. Actually, my mother finally talked to me. She told me that most of my matches thus far had been fixed in my favor. She also admitted she was the one who sold the story to the weekly magazine. I had no idea. I feel so ashamed. Thinking back, I do recall some of my opponents making poor moves at odd times. I've always wanted people to recognize my shogi skills, but I suppose I never had any. <sighs> it's as if she had a change of heart. Wink, wink. Oh. That can't be. They eavesdropped? I'm glad her heart changed. It was painful to hear the truth, but I'm glad my mother had a change of heart. Um, I've decided I'm not going to lose. Lose what? I was referring to the exhibition match. I'm going through with it as planned. For that, I'm going to confess everything. I know I'll receive a lot of criticism, but I must ensure the truth is known. Mm -hmm. The next match will showcase my true talents. I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope you'll watch. As your teacher, I promise to put up a good fight so I don't embarrass myself. Oh, we don't get like a All skill right. for that. We just get like story. I'm kind of okay with that. It's a nice story and all, but... You know, it wouldn't hurt. Throw in something a little cool. I look forward to it. I'll start. Until next time. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to swerve out of the way of that, but I think I... Uh, I bumped the microphone trying to not sneeze in your ears. And I may have done it anyway. Later. 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 The so Makoto is the one we're actually going to spend time with. Oh, but do we have a persona? Hey. It's 
exactly right. Shall we go? Is something the matter? Could maybe lend me some cash. Huh? What? Nothing real major, but I need it like right now. I pay, I'll pay you back though, honest please. Have to do with Tsukasa? Mm hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it, but he needs help. How suspicious. He's lying to you, don't give him any money. Not lying. Ooh. That's how he ropes you in. Yes. You're not wrong. We don't have any proof. Did you ask anyone at the club about the broken bottle? No. He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. You're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents would say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. Think you should end your relationship with him? He already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off the broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. It just do what he says. Smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just going to go to a good college and work at a fancy company and then what? At the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I'm not sure yet, but be that as it may, you should still study or you should still stay as far away from him as you can. You're not going to help me? Just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. <laughs> Wait. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Tsukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone and he'd be glad to help us out. Don't give me that crap. It's so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. It was mostly him texting me. Please listen. <sighs> I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Actually, Lonely with nowhere to vent their frustrations. Her family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Tsukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal behavior. Damn right. He needs to realize that you're going to help, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Trying to break free of her family, she's almost the exact opposite. I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. It's not the right way to live. I want to show her that just like you did for me. So are we going to have to change Tsukasa's heart? All right. Endure is pretty nice. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. I'll see you later. Okay, so I bet rank nine is like we have we unlock a quest to change his heart, and then that's rank ten. Ah, you're back. Hey, hey.
Yeah, we'll go right away. Oh, honey. Hey. Let's go, let's go! <laughs> the ocean is so pretty! What are we supposed to do? Yeah, totally! Power persona after uh, class today. Hmm. I'm counting on you, Phantom Thieves. Quiet down. Answer this question. Robot comes from a word in Czech. Uh, but where in Europe is the Czech Republic located? Central this Europe. Way to go! In the center of Europe. Nice going! First, we need a tower persona, if we don't already have one. Let me actually check that before we go to all that effort. Okay, we do need one. Hey, inmate. So let's see what we got. Do we already have one in the compendium? <laughs> Justine, you have these are the paths you have walked. Tower, 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 tower. We actually do not have one yet. Uh, we could make a couple. The inmate needs our guide. You wish to perform and let us begin the search. Elphagor, we use Kaiwan and Anzu. Uh, oh, let me you register them mind? first. Justine, you, you want to register it? You'd like to register this? Compare. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Also fine. Time for some rehabilitation. You wish to perform an What path do you want? Not terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Um. Wind, Sigh, or Strengthen Single Target Magic. Well, he doesn't have any single target magic. So I guess we'll take the Psychic Bloodline. Actually, we could pass along a fair number of single target stuff. So maybe we do do that. Say, Garula, Zyonga, Ega. Its power will be nothing. Girls, let us begin.
You done already? What? No slacking off. Yeah, we'll head back. We need to go to Akihabara. Uh, I think that's Yeah, here. Who's that kid? He's amazing. That's the king. He's dual wielding. Playing two opponents all by himself. And it's still too easy. Get smoked. What a monster. What do you want? Teach me some tricks. Sounds like too much work. There's an invincible player. You mean the guy who cheats, right? He makes me mad when he does that. I don't care. But I can still beat him, so I don't really care. Just forget about him. I won't let bad guys win. Uh -huh. You sound like the Phantom Thieves. So you're saying you want to beat the cheater. You seem like a nice guy, but just let it go. Phantom Thieves are really cool, aren't they? They came to my school. <laughs> the Shujin? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But, uh... Teaching you how to play Gunabout won't be easy. And I won't get anything out of it. Make a deal. Aww. You're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, you know. How about this? I want to get to know the Phantom Thieves. Probably impossible, but if you can help me do that, then I'll teach you how to play. See what I can do. Huh? You're not going to say no? Phew. None of that much, then. I thought for sure you were just going to give up. I didn't see this coming. But the Phantom Thieves hide their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? What's your name? You're going to tell them my name? Shinya hey. Oda. Tell the Phantom Thieves my name and have them post it somewhere only they'd be able to access. That'll be good enough as an autograph and proof that they know my name. Mm. We gotta go talk to... What's her face? Futaba. Found the king, no surprises there. Did tell you how to take oh. down the cheater? He was going to on one condition. He wants us to introduce him to the Phantom Thieves. We can't just give ourselves away, though. That's where you come in. Maybe you could hack into the Gunabout server and do something. Mm. But we won't be able to get in touch with him that way. We could send him a calling card. Oh yeah. At the homepage. Now we go back to talk to him. Hey. Contact her. Go ahead. Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Calling card? Huh? Ah! There's something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh! Is... is this for real? 
I mean, you can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Just like they did on Midget's site. Which means... You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves! No way! How'd you do it? Through a secret exchange. Oh, that's so cool! So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. Yeah, we are. I, I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. I bet we're going to learn new gun skills or something through this social link. Right away. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. Ugh, no, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. He's almost like a different person when he gets mad. His instructions are precise, but also Spartan-like. The king's swearing up a storm today. <sighs> That's what happens when he teams up with another player. And why everyone also watches him from a distance. All right, looks like you kind of got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. They keep saying he was swearing, but I didn't hear any actual swear words. Did, like, the ESRB make them change that or something? I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. That really is the angle with this. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? We didn't even learn it from the arms dealer. We learned it from a child playing a video game. Amazing storytelling. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. Down shot allows you to knock down an enemy with a special shot once per infiltration. All right. Wait, that's crazy. We have a way to deal with enemies that have no weaknesses now and recruit them. That's really good. It's earlier than usual today. I gotta go. See you later. Okay, the guide said our kindness was supposed to be maxed, uh, but it's not because hey. I think the, like, Aujiru or whatever it is has been wrong on a couple of days. Call me when it's game time. Looks like we got a real gamer over here. I'll hit you up when I have time to train you in gun about. Bye. Ah, you're back. Yo, wait, hold up. We need to have a star, devil, emperor, and fortune persona. Devil, emperor, 
fortune. We just need a star persona. I'll just go summon Kaiwan again. Oh, we should also see if we have a justice because we do need that. Justice, justice, justice. Okay, we do need to summon a justice as well. Hey, inmate. I think in lieu of making anything, we'll just summon them from the compendium. Because we need like four different persona types according to the guide, so. Your turn, Caroline. You'd like to read that these are the paths you have walked. We need a Justice and a star. Justice. Is this your we probably could this make a better power. justice persona here, but... Star. Kaiwan. This, this is your power. Technically, we could even just pick up Magatsu Izanagi and maybe use that to fuse something, but... What? No slacking off. later. Hi. Not much. What do you want to do? Yeah, we'll go hang out with the catchy. Oh. It's been a while. A while, huh? Years. I used to frequent one when I was younger. So. Of course, these days I'm the detective prince, but my family situation was, well, complicated. By the time I was old enough to realize it, my father was already gone. My mother was all I had. My mother worked at a nightclub. Whenever she had to bring a man home, she'd send me off to the local bathhouse. You've been through a lot, my guy. It's the past. I have no reason to blame her either. That's right. That's... You're working through that. We're, we're working up... Er... Dad probably did suck, but we don't have the full context. I can tell you're processing a lot. I wanted to force him to give to finally give her the apology he owes her, but that's no longer possible. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to get so depressing. This is nothing. <laughs> Mm, it was quite nice. Same. Hmm. Uh, because we get along or because we're similar? I mean, we've got, like... Two pretty healthy parents. I'd say because we get along. <laughs> Maybe we are pretty similar deep down. We're victims of the adults who unfairly impacted our lives. Okay, when you think of it that way, I think you're right. Mm. Yes. I'm even more sure of that after having talked with you. I forget, Akechi's doesn't give any, like, skills, right. right? It's just, like, story stuff. Hmm. Let's keep the competition out of the bath. Best to save it for the buys, right? Goodbye, then.
Everyone seems to think I'm some sort of brilliant prodigy. If they saw how I was t today, they would they'd say I wasn't acting like the detective prince. My bad, I guess. You fit in with the retro vibe back there. Can't figure you out, no matter how hard I try. You and I have common ground in some aspects, but in others we're total opposites. It's intriguing. The more I get to know you, the more it makes me think. I wonder why that is. <sighs> it says commit to the DM. Commit. I appreciate it. It's this home electronics store in Akihabara. I'll meet you there. Um. Going to buy an air conditioner, but now that I'm actually here, I'm having second thoughts. Never liked AC too much. They make you cold. The hum of an electric fan bothers me. Makes it so hard to concentrate on my strategy books. I'm sorry I'm holding us up. Take your time. Thank you very much. Still, I shouldn't indulge my indecisiveness too much. It could turn into a terrible weakness in Shogi. I should try to reach an answer soon. Hey. Ren, what a coincidence! And she is... Hmm? Where do I know her from? You're Kitagawa-kun from the art track, yes? I'm Hifumi Togo. I go to Kosei as well. Togo, ah, the professional shogi player. I'm Yusuke Kitagawa. It's a pleasure to meet you. Did you two also come to bask in the cool air? He's helping me pick out an air conditioner. Are you here because my dorm is a burning hellscape? Thus, the clear solution was to find a place of more comfort, so that my creativity might flow mo once more. Uh, good thinking? <laughs> Isn't it? Though I did decide not to bring my art supplies in the end. My funds are wholly devoted to acquiring more art supplies, yet this interminable heat has dulled my creative edge. Here I may enjoy the cooling breeze and find inspiration. In next generation technology, what more could I ask for? E, you make a compelling case, Kitagawa-kun. You understand as well? With a single swing, the blade of creativity may cleave through all adversity. Whether wielded in a painter's hand or a tactician's, what's important is the blade is guided by righteous valor. A bit eccentric, isn't she? That's good, right? You think so? Indeed. You have such a firm, personalized view of the world. Yes, I dare say it's a wonderful thing. Something wrong, you two? No, nothing in particular. Have you settled on an air conditioner? I'm trying to decide between an air conditioner and an electric fan. Between the two, I'd prefer an electric fan, but the noise would still bother me. I did see an electric fan that functioned with no blades. Perhaps that would suffice. What? A bladeless fan. I saw a tower fan where the tower was hollow, yet air was still flowing out of it. Technology truly has come a long way. I'll go with that one then. Such revolutionary technology, I may be driven to create innovative new stratagems. I was able to assist. If I might ask, what do you plan to do with your old electric fan? I would be happy to take it off your hands. Huh? Oh? Another acquaintance of yours? It isn't Mifune-san. She's an accomplished fortune teller. Mm. What kind of fortunes does she tell? Money, luck, or she knows everything. I guess we'll say she knows everything, because that's what the guide that's says wrong. to say. Not everything, and without my tarot cards, I can't divine much anyway. But I can tell a bit based on your personal aura. I see. 
the two of you seem to bear a very interesting connection with Amamiya-san. It's somewhat different from ordinary friendship. I sense quite an unusual bond indeed. I see. Well, you aren't wrong there. Yeah, that sounds about right. You really are a mysterious person. Their stars burn with such intensity. What strange destiny could draw them together? By the way, why are you here? Oh, right. I was looking for a replacement for my old electric fan. I know the worst of the heat has passed, but I can't make it through these Tokyo summers without one. What a coincidence. That's what I was just looking for, too. These two were helping me decide what model to buy. Is this? Another strange coincidence. Perhaps the fates conspired us to conspired to put us all here. Now we can peruse the bladeless fans together, yes? Bladeless? How is a fan supposed to blow air with no blades? I'm not that gullible. Being is believing. Shall we go inspect what? it for ourselves? What in tarnation? What a wonderful day. Ah, you're back. Yo. Another box came for you. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh, what was the answer to this? Ten years in prison. Talk to Sojuro with a Hierophant persona equipped. Do I have one equipped? I do. Hmm? Yeah, we'll help out the chief. Today we're going to try brewing a cup of coffee from step one. Just listen to what I tell you. The beans are Colombian, a medium fine city roast. Oh, and don't let the water boil too much. You're going to be fine. I'll be here the whole time. Yeah. Not bad. Though I, I guess anyone could do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. That's because the acidity and the flavor profile all depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Tell me more. Somebody's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want to. But hands off the expensive ones, got it? Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Something about the quantification of taste? There's no formula for flavor, but it is pretty damn good. Anyhow, we don't make compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's gonna wow the customer. This is a tiny shop, after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. You. <laughs> Haven't I told you I don't have the money? Look at this place. You see many customers in here? No need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too? For nothing more than charity? I wish you'd shown me you'd show me the same kindness you show others. <sighs> If you're not planning on buying anything, could you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the meantime. So should we keep talking until your call comes in, or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well... Oh, there's that social services call I was waiting for. 
We come around pretty often to make sure this guy's not getting any in any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Oh, that's right. I have some business I need to take care of. I'll come back later. Jeez. Does he really have nothing better to do? I guess I should explain what's going on. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. The man is an old acquaintance of mine who's short on cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you, it's all an act. Say though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stuff off. You really saved me back there. LeBlanc Curry. Allows you to make curry that slightly restores SP right. of all allies. That seems pretty good, but I think we don't usually want to spend time making curry. Oh, you can make curry on days when there are ingredients for curry in the refrigerator. You'll be unable to make curry during the day and after school when the cafe is open. Try cooking at night when the stove is free. Bill, why do you poke around into other people's troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. Guess that's just the kind of person you are, though. That time already. Report him to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Never mind that. That's it for today. Go study or something. Will this top out our kindness? Not yet. We are really behind on that. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to get you wrapped up in my problems. Probably don't have to say it, but if that guy shows up while I'm out, just try to ignore him. Let him do his thing and get on with the job. Got it? Understood. Whatever he says, don't let it get to you. Still under probation, so don't cause a scene, yeah? Alright, I'm trusting you on this. Oh my heart. Swoon! Oh, that's right. We're a rank behind on Sojuro's social link. Everyone's incompetent. Man. We're going to have to make up some ground at some point on Sojuro's social link. Now everyone. Well... Miss Usami, please come to the faculty office at once. What's this about? Make sure to study on your own. What do you want to do? Read. We're going to read... What are we supposed to read? Night skies. Do we not have night skies? There we go. Leave the noise of the city behind and find refuge in the calming and wild wow. starry skies. Ikebukuro is mostly known for its skyscrapers. I never realized they had a planetarium there. Guess they keep it exciting by doing things like hiring famous actors as tour guides. That's cool. We learned about something. Oh. The planetarium in Ikebukuro is probably the closest one to here, so that's pretty convenient. All right. Ah. That's annoying. We also need a counselor persona that we don't have at the moment. Although now that we've made it through the event where we needed like a whole bunch of personas, maybe we can fuse one. Uh, I'll see what the like compendium says.
Hmm. Suspicious that Akechi is disappearing. Go to the Velvet Room. Like to read the compendium? Read okay, nothing here. to register. I think counselor is at the bottom because it's one of those like not actually part of the stuff things. There is a level 44 counselor persona that we might be able to make. Let's them. see. Let us begin the search. Anata. We'd use a hermit and a hierophant. Or a tower and a star. Let me see, do we have... It's weird that the guide is recommending that we do something that it isn't clear what they want us to do, but... Like, later, but... Anyway, I did not find an answer to my question of whether we needed any of these arcanas coming up. Uh, the way I am going to choose to look at this is that we have so much money we can just summon what we need again. Probably no issue. Let's just do this. Give it Atomic Bloodline... Okay. Go with Carlos Yonga Ega. Like it kind of feels like the move is just to make. It will receive some new power. <laughs> like I just see. make it learn everything. Like just make like it's always weird to me because like. Like in SMT, for example, like in Nocturne, which I've been playing on my own, you usually do want to like specialize your demons in like, you know, if they're better at strength stuff, then you like want them to, what's the word? Like, Changer, are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Like, if they're good at strength stuff, you want to give them strength skills. You don't want to just, like, load them up with random stuff. And, like, even if they're good at magic, you probably want them to, like, specialize in a handful of elements. And, like, you know, have, like, buffing and healing skills or whatever. But, like, in Persona, because the buff skills also just kind of suck. Oh, we didn't need to go to this clinic. We needed to go to... A school clinic. Actually, I don't know where. Go to the entrance. Forget where Maruki is. Like, I think because buff skills don't matter, it's kind of like... You just give your... Per Personas like the healing skills Welcome. and you give them like ah, yes. as many elemental magic things as they can carry. Like you can put some strength stuff on if you're feeling spicy. But like more than one persona with a dedicated strength build is kind of like not great. So hmm. Thank you. Let's head out now. Oh, we're gonna go talk at the cafe. I'm sorry. Sorry for coming over out of the blue. You must have a real knack for coffee. This is fantastic. We got curry too. I'd love to try some, but I'd better restrain myself you for now. See. About the research we've been discussing, I'm actually putting it all together in a paper been really progressing lately thanks in no small part to you but i feel like i've hit another wall 
appreciate if you could help me talk through this again. I can do that. Thank you. You're really saving me here. In deepening our understanding of the heart, I want to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by traumas. I already told you that was the point of all my research, right? Thanks to you that my project has come this far. <sighs> because of all that progress, I've realized a problem and that may not have any solution. Even if my research makes great strides, even if we do find some miraculous way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people directly within my reach. Isn't that enough? True, I guess it's better than not being able to save anyone, but I can't just be satisfied with that. I mean, there are so many people out there suffering so badly, they can't even speak up and let that pain out. This is a painful, cruel, bitter world. There's only so much one individual can do to fight against that. Said it before, working as a counselor only makes that painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. You know, I... Deep down, I don't think it's enough that I can just help people around me. Few people out of billions I want to help more people overcome their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinitely diverse ways. In turn, we have infinite methods by which we try to treat it. There are people who need help desperately, but can't ask for it. Can't even share their pain. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, I don't think that would be enough to finally beat trauma. And I guess that's what I ultimately realized. So give up. Yeah, it'd probably be easier. Unfortunately, I've never been great at giving up when I should. We could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, understand, and then remove the root cause of their pain. It sounds like something out of a dream. Let me put it this way. Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? I just think it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognition more quickly and accurately. Everyone's cognition. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capability. What if they're connected? Where's this coming from? Sure, they can connect, but... No, wait. Oh! You're right! That's it! The collective unconscious. People's hearts are connected in the unconscious. Their senses are shared subconsciously. So simple. Why didn't I realize it before? <laughs> yes, right. And if I can combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it all back to cognitive science, too. Cognitive science? Yes, what about it? Oh, I didn't say earlier, the research I'm doing is on cognitive science. I need to go. I need to get this in my paper while it's fresh in my mind. Le consultant. All right. All right, then. All right. Pretty good. Sorry for rushing out. Calm down. All I need to do now is focus on my paper. After all your help, I'm going to finish it for your sake too. Oh, we need to travel to Akihabara?
okay. Come on, get me the figure. Uh, I should write something. Hey, well, let's save just in case. We're probably not going to spend all, you know, the 700,000 of our money, but still, okay. I don't really want to spend more than like 10,000. <sighs> How did we do this the first time with whatever the other one was? Oh, we got it. Nice going. Also say to go to the cafe and order the most expensive meal. Yes, let's do that. Welcome home! My goodness! If you collect 20 stamps, you can get a special item. They say order the most expensive thing. Absolutely! Here I go. Let's see. Oh, sorry about that. What did you say? It's fine. Y yeah. Mm -hmm. that let's see take care so i assume the guide is having us do this to get the like 20 stamp item at some point hey let's read musty pages Oh, we already know about that. It's a waste of time, I guess. Yes. I'll read, uh, is there anything else here that's like college? Powerpedia. I guess we'll read the mm -hmm. billiards book. Nice. Oh. All right. Successfully strike a trick shot, your technical rank will increase. for eating, yada, yada, yada. Do you know this one? How many white and black shapes are there respectively on a soccer ball? This 20 white, it. 12 black. Precisely. 
12 black pentagons and 20 white hexagons. Apparently soccer balls used to be only one color. They changed it to black and white so it could be seen better on television. <laughs> Sorry. Nice going. Yeah, we're real smart. to meet with Butaba with a Hermit Persona equipped. Uh, I believe we few No, we did not fuse away our Hermit Persona. We were actually smart. Hide later. Hide later. Hide later. Hide later. Side later. Welcome back. What are you doing today? Let's hang out. We'll be fine. Really? Go, 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 go! Hmm. Learn about my generation. A normal conversation with a stranger my age. Alright, let's go. Uh -huh. Be careful out there. Mm. Arrived at the diner. Heard all about the unlimited fountain drinks at these places. Is that like a solid gold motorcycle behind us? Has that always been there? Hi. Oh crap! Is that a friend of yours? He's in my class. Oh, that's right. Hmm? Promise. Well. Want to have a regular old conversation? The way you're saying that you, a girl, want to talk to me? Yeah. In that case, I guess I don't have a choice. Nope, none whatsoever. I'll just have to help you out. Really? You're so nice. My name's Futaba Sakura. Okay. I'm Yuki Mishima, but everyone just calls me Mishima. <laughs> Maybe my luck stat's really high. I think you're right. Let me see. Do you want to learn more about our generation? I doubt it'll be easy to explain. Youth, the unknown frontier. Yeah, I should try um, talking about my hobbies. Do you like computers? Yes. I'm always online. Me too. What sites do you use? I usually keep to forums myself. Or are you more into streaming? I'd gladly subscribe to your channel. Please sub to twitch.tv slash damp chinchilla. Oh man, I'm bad at this whole like plugging myself thing. Aw oh, jeez. Wait, do you by chance run one of the um uh, hmm? Mishima. No. First time I've heard anyone say that out loud. Th that's... That's from like... Maybe 2016? I guess that was relevant and recent at the time when the original Persona 5 came out. He's the protagonist. 
Can't judge a book by its cover. Rank five. All right. Going home. Yes. Right. All right. Let's do it. I did awesome today. Found a lost thing in the street, so I dropped it off at the police station. You did great. Ah, you're back. Oh, we have to do stuff with a, uh, star persona as well. Oh, uh, we need a star persona, right? Yep, I did fuse that away. We'll just go summon Kaiwan again. Hey, inmate. We should also probably be a high enough level now to do whatever the next twin request is, but I forgot what it is. You certain? Justine, read here. Is this what a fee is required? This is your power. Done already? What? It is time, inmate. Head over immediately. Thank you. Give it all you got. Yes. It's time I have to go to the venue. You won't be able to go inside the match room, but you can watch over the internet right. if you like. It's an online broadcast of the match. The announcers are commentating on the gameplay. Is this the end of the road for the phony princess? Getting pushed back quite a bit. It's only a matter of time now. Now that was a masterful play. Perhaps her skills are the genuine article. Oh, that's no good. Next move will surely result in checkmate. Hasn't made a move. I'm thinking phony princess real defeat is the headline for our next article. <sighs> I was utterly destroyed out there. As if, as if an ant had challenged an elephant, a shogi player should know her limits. <sighs> that was the first time I have ever forfeited a match. I was so ashamed of myself I didn't want to hurt the pieces any longer. A queenly decision. One must concede defeat with grace, maintaining dignity until the very end. But I confess I am confused. I mean, naturally I'm disappointed that I lost, but I still feel happy. As if a demon has been purged. The moment I realized that victory was impossible, I felt a strange peace. It's important as that I do from this point on. I played so disgracefully in front of you. Perhaps you can view it just as an example of what not to do. 
and understand that there are times which require one to forfeit with valor and grace. Who are you? Or two are you? Decreases turn delay to zero? Allowing you to instantly escape battle. Oh, okay. So if we want to run away, we don't have to wait anymore. Um. Thinking about this for a while. Let's make today your last lesson. Spending time with me has only brought you pain. This is goodbye. I want to become stronger. The things you say sometimes. Perhaps I should take a lesson from that ambitious nature of yours. <laughs> Let's go home. Thank you so much for today. Kept playing Shogi according to my mother's strategy. I can say with certainty today's loss was not a setback, but a glorious step forward. That's a great way to see it. Let's do any other catch-up you need with the daytime. But, like, daytime isn't our problem. We're behind in nighttime. But I, I have to assume that we'll get an opportunity to catch up at some point. Hey. Well, then. Hey, well, let's... Hmm. Let's decorate. First things first, let's go to what's the underground walkway has the drink stand. Let's see if there's a kindness drink. Welcome. Aha. Nice. Mm. Right. Angelic kindness. do have a free evening to catch up on stuff coming up, so we're okay, actually. This is like a any other thing we have to do catch up day. Do Takemi, Makoto... Or Yusuke. Or we could do something not social link related. Do we have an Emperor Persona? We do. I'll spend time with Yusuke.
Sorry. My apologies for calling all of you here like this. Boss was even kind enough to, to serve us coffee before he went shopping. I have a vital request. Hey! You two honestly believe I would ask you here for help in my truth. studies? I'm planning to display my work in a competition. The one organized by Kawanabe of the Japanese Art Support Foundation, you remember? I must win and prove not only my ability, but my intense passion as well. However, I'm having quite a bit of trouble determining what my next subject should be. I have given this painting a fair amount of thought, but nothing has come to me as of yet. Oh yeah! Ryuji. Wait! How long are you going to keep bringing that up? You should paint something people find pretty. Hmm. We return to the concept of beauty. Well, that's what the game tells us to answer. What's that supposed to mean? Why can I not paint a beauty as pure as the Sayuri? Where have all of my efforts gone? Aww. I'm not really sure what you mean by pure beauty. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty painting. But I'm not sure I really consider it a pure beauty or whatever. I don't know, I guess it just feels more gentle to me. I almost cried the first time I saw the Sayuri. Felt kind of like I was a baby again in my mother's arms, watching over me, telling me everything's going to be okay. That was the gentleness the painting made me feel. This is coming from someone with no art knowledge, though. Gentleness. It is yet another aspect the Sayori captured that I cannot. Is my heart too no clouded? Way, it ain't cloudy, dude. Are you sure about that? Painting used to be all my heart desired. I needed nothing else in life. But now, what now? I've become overwhelmed with the need to prove myself to Kawanabe, to prove myself to the world. I looked down on Madarame for focusing so sharply on fame and money, yet I too yearn for the praise of others. In truth, oftentimes I regret declining Kawanabe's offer. How could this be? Is this what pure passion is supposed to look like? My heart is clouded by worldly desires. You've grown. He's right, dude. Ain't nothing wrong with doing your best to make a living. Yeah. And you just want someone to acknowledge your work, right? That's serious passion. But how can passion be born from those repulsive thoughts? You think? Listen here, dude. I was totally like you back on the track team. I wanted to prove myself. To win. But, you know, even through all that, I was trying to help my team out. Sure, it's a solo sport. Nobody's gonna run till they puke if they don't want if they don't got teammates they want to inspire. I guess what I really want to say is you gotta do stuff for people beyond just yourself if you want to succeed. Is that how it is. So since the gentleness, the sincere gentleness held within the Sayuri, warmth of its heart, it was all for the sake of those who gaze upon it. How interesting. So that's what you mean. I see. Whoa. What do you see? I've been a fool. Beauty is not the superficial thing I have long thought it to be. It is something that wells up within the heart until it breaks free. It is a gift given by a subject unto its viewer. I That's finally see the truth. Y yeah. Uh, how exactly? Yusuke can All now right. endure. The time has come for my brush to meet canvas in beautiful harmony. He's acting even weirder than normal. He looked pretty inspired though. He'll be fine, right? Are you guys hungry? I might ask boss to make me something when he gets back. What was that crap about being good at everything except math? It ain't nice to lie to you, you know. No! It's really hard to get good grades at Shujin. No way, man. 
you're not getting good grades, you shouldn't should have known Yusuke wasn't going to ask you to study with him. <laughs> ah, you're back. Well then. Actually, let's decide later. Do we want to buy anything on the shopping Calming aroma, smoke screen, and lock picks. Hey, hey. I'll take the five lock picks. Now that our proficiency's maxed, we don't necessarily have tons of time to just like well, then. keep making lock picks. Go hang out with Yoshida. Everyone. Poverty, working poor. Our country's job market is terrible. The young workforce is being crushed on a daily basis. The evil that permeates the corporate world has filtered down into society. I will help him out. Actually. Diet man Matsushita asked me to meet after this. You remember how he asked me to become his right-hand man? Well, he likely wants my answer. What's wrong? What did you ask me here to discuss? I heard you met with K Kuramoto's grandson. You have your ears to the ground, huh? I think he's the candidate the party is backing to ruin my chances of winning. I'll be completely straight with you since I already asked you to be my right-hand man. I'm currently fighting the Kuramoto group. What? You're fighting with Mr. Kuramoto? I have ambitions of my own, you know. I owe him for all he did for me, but I don't want him to have influence over me forever. All the more, now that he's secretly working with diet members from other parties. I know he asked you to join his group, but I think you should decline his offer. Mm. I want to keep you on a leash so you won't reveal any damaging information. Real culprit of the expense misappropriation case you blame for. You were blamed for is old man Kuramoto. What in the world? What did you say? Search through the party's off the record accounts from 20 years ago, there's no doubt. Can you still forgive him? He led you into the political world and kicked you out in the worst way. But why? Seems he bought his popularity and as a result, he was having some serious financial trouble. I see. Sounds as if you're saying that this is my opportunity to clear my name. And so you need an answer from me on whether or not I'll be your right-hand man, yes? His own grandson has already tried to, pers to persuade you, therefore I can't wait any longer. If you join me, you can accuse Kuramoto of his crime. You can clear your name and put no good Tora behind you. This is your best and last chance. Join with Matsushita and take my revenge against Mr. Kuramoto, but drop out of the election. That's a difficult decision, yes. to say the least. Matsushita, I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. You have no conceivable reason to refuse. My goal is to become a member of the Diet, not a right-hand man. I will not cast aside my beliefs. On that, I stand firm. Information would be the deciding factor in taking down Kuramoto. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I was simply offering you a deal. I assumed you might decline it. Very well. Please forget it. I apologize for bringing it up so suddenly. Talk to the party and provide support for your next speech about the Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Why are you doing this? I don't want to debate about the Phantom Thieves. I simply want to draw attention to them. And you can assert your innocence there on a grand stage. To be frank, I'll be happy as long as the Kuramoto group's influences, influence diminishes. Take a word of this to anyone for both our sakes. <sighs> like I'm caught in the crossfire of a political conspiracy. Because you are. 
My friend is trying to take advantage of me while my former mentor is trying to win me over. To achieve my dreams, I have to set aside my beliefs. What should I do? Stick to your beliefs. Yes. Betraying myself means betraying my supporters, which also means betraying you. For some reason, just talking with you always helps helps me make up my mind. As if my heart is being manipulated. Mm. Perhaps. Phantom thieves truly do exist, and I'm sure they're very much like you. For some reason, you stood by me. No good Tora. We didn't have any actually, supporters. I've been thinking about this for a while, actually. You must have experienced cruelty and injustice in this life. I can tell by the look in your eyes. I sense your desire to help the weak. Strength to stand up to the hecklers, to Matsushita, and to Kuramoto's grandson. No ordinary high school student. Even I know that much. Hey. Care to talk about it? What good would that do? <laughs> Just a joke. Sorry, I crossed the line there. I've always lacked restraint in these situations. I relieved the tension by making fun of myself. Think of it as an advanced technique for winning people over. Mind control. Occasionally lets you skip negotiation when attempting to right. obtain a persona. That's nice. You're right. So now not only do we have a way to knock down personas that have no weaknesses, but we also have a way to skip negotiation with said personas. Or not necessarily said personas. It seems like it's a random chance, but that's still pretty good. I'll at least make good use of Matsushita's help setting up my next speech. I feel like I'll be able to fully express my beliefs if I you're there with you me. Again another time. Well then, I'll see you again. Humans are easily swayed. That's why you must never forget what's truly important. I will. Life's full of tough decisions. I can only hope today's lesson will nourish your growth. The real battle begins now. I need to devote myself to this fully. Thank you so much. What are you talking about? I'm just so happy. I got out of the meat I was talking to you about, and my routine was the best I've ever given so far. Why me? You're the reason I've come so far. That's nice. Good morning. Bank, a pyramid, and now a spaceport? I guess anything goes in the cognitive world. Anyhow, this is on a grander scale than before, so we'll have to do some research. I'll think about it. I see. I won't push you, but don't forget about Haru. Talk to me anytime if you're ready. It really is a little bit strange that the guide is, like, not having us do this for so long. I guess it doesn't matter, but... Like, the guide's obviously not going to tell us to just not do it. So we need a tower persona to go talk to our buddy. Hey, I think his name's Shinya. How goes... Justine, read here. Show me the tower. Elphagore. This persists as your power. Technically, there should be like a level 41 tower we could also make. You wish to perform out of what curiosity. 
There's actually a lot of personas we're kind of behind on. Um, Red Rider. Uh, like, like as cool as all of these are. Finished? Are you finished? What? No slacking off. Like, I think what we'll do is whenever we go into Mementos slash Okumura's palace, we'll go back and like make all of those. There was a Phantom Thieves capsule toy machine at the shop in the back alley. Yeah, we'll study All under him. Right. You bastard. Got such a bad attitude. Really late. Thanks to you taking so long to figure it out. Don't compare me to you. Yeah, you're right. Hey. I've always been good at shooting games. But I absolutely never want to lose a gun about. So I guess I tend to get all heated up about it. Time for the elementary school kids to go home. You understand? Shut up. Do I need to call your mom? Fine, I'll leave, all right. Aww. What a rude employee. Seriously. I really wanted to keep playing. My house is so boring. No one's ever there and there's never, never anything to do. Adults and high schoolers are so lucky they get to play all night long. Having that much time helps you get stronger. I wish I could play all day instead of going to school. I'd never lose another game. I need to get real strong like the Phantom Thieves. Do you admire them? Of course I do. I believe in the Phantom Thieves and their strength. So do I. Seriously though, I can't stop thinking about that employee. He was super annoying, right? If he says something again, I might just have to use that move on him. The one I taught you, remember you should use it sometime. Bullet hail. Chance to enter a gun-based all-out attack after a successful right. ambush. Does that actually... Or I guess if it used up our bullets, that wouldn't actually matter. I'm gonna head home. Sounds good, Shinya. Later. It's me, Shinya Oda. Got to mention earlier, but you can keep you gotta keep practicing even on single player, okay? I'll work hard. I'm practicing a lot too. I want to get as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Mom came home, gotta hang up, bye. What a cute kid. Ah, you're back. And we Yo. do Sojiro's social link. Hey. Oh. We can. We're saved. Yeah, we'll help the chief out. All right then. Utaba's coming to eat today too. I'll get the curry ready. I'm wicked full. How was the curry? Delicious. I'm going to be dreaming of that stuff tonight. Did it taste the same as you remember it? I feel like a dummy for not wanting to eat it oh, when I was depressed right. about mom. Oh yeah, the first episode of this brand new anime I want to watch is airing tonight. I'm out of here. Eyes in front when you walk, okay? No spacing out. You ran headfirst into a pole last time you went for a walk. Well, you stubbed your toe on the dresser the other day.
She thought it was delicious. And what about you? I think I'm addicted. Because you have pretty good taste if you can understand how incredible that curry is. Now then there's something I should probably tell you. Take a seat, I'll pour you some coffee. Yeah. Remember how I said the recipe for this curry was developed by a scientific genius? You might have realized by now, but that genius was Futaba's mother, Wakaba. In other words, that curry is one of the last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. I first met Wakaba back when I was doing work for the government. She was real trouble, let me tell you. Logic prevailed over emotion for her. She had an intricate knowledge knowledge of the human mind thought my pickup lines were the best in town but not a single one worked on her huh. it wasn't normal huh you can probably get a good idea just from looking at futaba wakaba was like the adult version of that it's almost impossible to keep up with her and are idiots though we spend our time chasing after things we can't get wakaba rejected me time and time again there was one instance i managed to surprise her and that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. The very next day, she came asking all about the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process. And just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She'd used my curry as the basis, but it was miles better than anything I made. Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. And after Wakaba's incident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor would make her remember the pain. I've heard even smells can bring back memories, too. That curry was one point of connection I had with Futaba. Why, when I took her in, I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. It really paid off in the end. Yeah, it felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders when she said it was delicious. The whole idea of pairing the curry with a nice brew is thanks to Wakaba's refinement, too. Despite how introverted she seemed, she was extraordinarily perceptive of the people around her. I never even told her about my love of coffee, she just figured it out from looking at me. That was when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not like I really stood a chance to begin with though, she already had Futaba by then after all. It might seem like any old curry to most people, but there's tons of emotions crammed inside. So uh, make sure you keep the tradition going. That's sweet. Le Pape. All right. <laughs> All right, that's enough of this for tonight. Things are getting downright sappy in here. Job is waiting for me at home too, so I should the probably be heading back. On you. Clean up before you go to bed. Me, you finished cleaning up? Futaba's still watching anime. As long as she's in a good mood, though, I guess I don't mind it. Seeing her so happy now makes me glad that I kept Wakaba's curry alive. It's only a problem when she asks for it three times a day. She needs a balanced diet. That's exactly my problem. Futaba's still growing. Gotta be strict with her. She needs to eat balanced meals so she gets vitamins that curry can't give her. Man, the expression on Futaba's face when she took a bite of that curry. Forget it, maybe I'll have to stick with... Curry is the staple, but I can sneak in some veggies here and there. Guess cooking really can be a labor of love. Ah, oh, crap, I talk too much. See you later, I guess. That was sweet. Hmm. Gotta say, it looks like everything's coming up roses. It's 
So we're supposed to do the counselor today. Go ahead and read all our texts. Now's our chance. Yeah, we'll go right away. Help out okay. with his research. Thanks. Well, shall we begin? For today's topic, let's see. I'd like to hear your opinion on these phantom thieves of hearts. The ones who steal the desires of criminals and reportedly force them to confess. It's a little hard to believe, but I guess I've taken an academic interest. choose any option so I guess I'll say are you a fan yeah I guess you could say that I'd love to sit down and talk with one of them I get the feeling the phantom thieves work and my own research are rooted in the same principles so I decided to analyze them from my own perspective for example there's the matter of their methods According to those calling cards they send out, their stated method is to steal your desires. Was such a feat even possible? Any ideas? As in removing them? Removing them as if they're something material rather than abstract. So they'd be stealing desires in some tangible form of them. Well, in that case... I suppose it'd be possible if you could find some physical proxy for human desires. Say. You remember the story with the cookies. In that experiment, the desire for the cookies actually changed the way people tasted them. I think we can look at this in the same way. Not simply easily perceived, but desires have a tremendous effect on our cognition. In another way, if that desire is gone, your, cogni your cognitive perception of the cookie skews back to normal. Does that remind you of anything? The change of heart. That's the basis of my theory. Their theft of desires is not metaphorical, but something more direct. We still don't know how exactly they steal these desires, of course. But if this idea of a physical, tangible desires can be actualized, I think it'd logically follow that they can be taken away. World of intangibles, let's say a world composed of the contents of people's hearts, with thieves, so they could perceive a world like that, they could steal desires like any other treasure. Think I'm getting anywhere here? It's intriguing. You think so too? If it's actually anywhere close to the truth, it'd be incredible. And again, we'll probably never know for sure unless we could ask one of the phantom thieves themselves. I can construct a solid hypothesis now. Thank you. Low boost. All right. All right. Well, see you. I actually want to like just take stock of what our different social links have given us so far. Uh, you're back. At least some of them. Like, so the Prison Master one, that's just like... Yeah, this is all just like Persona stuff. Morgana gives a... Or, Morgana's just Morgana. Toto is like similarly Yusuke. Like any of the... I guess the party member ones are going to be self-explanatory like that. We'll get better coffee. Interesting. I wonder if the like hearts there are to indicate that it's like, uh, like a, the relationship choice. Got her second awakening. Oh yeah, it must be. 
justice. We got sleuthing instinct and sleuthing mastery, but nothing after that, it looks like. Ooh, moral support may now charge. Charge or recover SP. The charge is, eh, er, it could come up. Fortune, we get a celestial reading. Triggers a fusion alarm, then raises alarm chance until the day. That does not seem to matter, but. Expert customization unlocks parts. Increases the selection of revival items. Outrageous scoop allows you to begin with an even lower security level. Okay. Warning shot. Able to scare enemies in negotiation to make it easier to obtain a persona. Pogo system. Allows you to swap current party with backup members during anybody's turn. That's really good. At that point, we don't even have to think about like who our party is going in because we can just swap people in as needed. Uh, fanboy. Seems good. Charismatic speech. Form contracts with higher level shadows. Okay. Faith, we already did these. Counselor, Detox DX. Raises chance of Detox X succeeding. Oh, I see. Chance to receive the effects of charge and concentrate at the start of a battle. Okay, so we just have like a better chance at flow. Okay. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, we'll help out the chief. Ah, thanks. Regulars will be here any minute. Don't you ever get lonely, so Chan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Have you given up on marriage? <laughs> All I want in a relationship is spicy stimulation followed by some smooth, relaxing comfort. And I can get both of those things from my curry and my coffee. That's enough for me. Always dodges my questions like that. He's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? To each his own. That's a real roundabout way of showing disapproval. Anyway, the only thing I care about in life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax in here. Come back anytime, okay? Hey. You seemed especially aggressive today, huh? It would have been bad if she pushed any further. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far, not too close. Welcome. You just don't know when to give up, do you? Well, I just learned something very interesting. Utaba's been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? That's not good parenting. Yeah, and what have you done to care for her? You know quite well what I've done, and it's about time you pay up. Don't be ridiculous. Futaba had a terrible life living with you. Plus, I already gave you most of the inheritance for custody. Is that still not enough for you? I always find out in court. I wonder who'd win between a blood relative and a mere legal guardian. You. Oh, and not to mention that kid you have here. I heard all about him and his criminal record. Leaves us with a parent who won't let her go to school and a delinquent housemate on probation. Doesn't quite seem to be the best environment for Futaba. How does it? You're wrong. What was that? Fine. I'll take care of this. Get on upstairs. Futaba <gasps> Chan. Long time no see. Utaba. See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck. This is clearly not a healthy situation. She's only like that because she saw you here. Make me repeat myself. You can't beat me in court, so you may as well just give me the money. Sure. Hope you reach the right decision. Bye now. Head home for today. I'll take you. Job is okay. All that drama must have tired her out. She fell asleep right after we got home. That 
man is Futaba's uncle. After Wakaba died, Futaba was passed around all her relatives. His place was the last. He treated her like garbage. He never fed her and forced her to sleep on the floor like an animal. He didn't even let her bathe. Once I learned that, I knew I had to step in. I couldn't stand for the kind of horrible treatment, so I decided to take Futaba under my care. Even back then, he was whining about all the damn expenses. He threw some cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed, but now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. Saving Futaba was no mistake. Thanks, I never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Either way, though, it's my fault Futaba doesn't, didn't leave her room. Didn't know how to help her. Uh, I'd make Curry leave it by her door and go. Not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. If, me, if you asked me whether I deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. Okay, blood's thicker than water, water, right? What would be best for Futaba? Look at me spilling my heart out to a punk like you. Kind of weird. For some reason, I just feel like telling you this stuff. Like you're peering into my heart. I guess that really is something special about you. Le Pape. We got coffee mastery. All right. I'm already home. pretty late. Don't stay up too late. Utaba's fast asleep. Didn't mean to get you tangled up in all this mess. I can help somehow. Just let me know. I never know what I'm doing when I talk to you. I just keep yammering on about stuff I never planned on talking about. Must be going senile, huh? Excuse me. All right, don't worry about that guy. I'll find some way to deal with him. You just keep looking out for Futaba. It seems like you two are really hitting it off, so... That's all I had to see. Don't be say, don't forget to lock up before bed. Hey! Uh, let's read. Hmm? Man. Read about a destination, I guess. Mama was named after Miami Beach. Its hotels make for a breezy right. stay. I assume that's like, you know, a play on Disneyland. I actually went to the Tokyo Disneyland. It's pretty nice. They still had like the old fa paper fast pass system, uh, which I've heard the American parks have abandoned that for the worse. I haven't been to the American one since I'm I was a kid because they're, you know, pretty expensive and like. Hey there. Disneyland or what you know anything like that like it's fun, but it's also not like something I like need to do you know. I'll probably go like <laughs> a handful more times in my life. I know. <laughs> Have you seen the totem pole? Mm. The way it looks. Have you heard?
Let's see. Yeah, well, let me just Google something real quick that the guide is recommending we do. Let's see here. We need 20 aluminum sheets and 10 liquid mercury. We need to beat Decarabia and Ganesha. Although we've also unlocked just a ton of stuff in um, mementos and whatnot, so we might already have a lot of what we need. I need an answer. Um. EVS refers to when you mistakenly think your phone's going off. Phantom. Vibration. Syndrome. This is it. Good. Uh, we are, in fact, heading into the palace. Everyone's here. Okay, let's go. We're probably not going to get that far in the palace tonight because it is already 930, but I will try to get us, like, you know, a distance in. I should write something. Let me go ahead and save too, because it's been a minute. Go menu. Go. I want to just equip everybody's default outfits. I still think I prefer doing like everybody in their classic outfits or like. Uh... Utapa can change her outfits, but like you don't really ever see her anyway. So it's like. You know, why? Oh, interesting. Has... Has Haru not joined the party yet, officially? Hey, Joker! No. Oh, okay. That's what's going on here, okay. You need something? I am gonna fuse a few personas, because, you know, this could also be an opportunity to recruit some new ones, so I want to make space. Create. Use by result. We'll start from the lowest levels and work our way up. We need a legion. Not terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Doubles effect of drain type skills and passives, or buffs our healing. Take Toga, Garula. Uh, we'll take Sayo. It will receive a great. <laughs> I see. Petra break. And it could come up. Null, dizzy, don't really care. 
What else can we make? Make a unicorn. Not using terrible, these two. But not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Kill burn freeze sh or cure burn freeze and shock for all allies. Medio run. Take these. Probably want Mediorama. It will receive some new power. My, my. Ame Recarm and Swift Strike. Damage to one foe or all foes. Jekunda is never going to come up. Uh, Mithras. Not terrible, Thor. but not impressive. Uh, I kind of want to keep Kaiwan though, because we get Sayodine if we just level it up one more time. Might actually skip Mithras for now. Or we can always summon it back if we need like it. To uh, increases technical damage by 25%. Take Psychic or Bless Bloodline. I guess we'll do technical damage. Take Zeodyne, Hoga, Diorama maybe. And Mela. It will receive a great deal of power. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I see. Petra break, nuke break. Uh, don't need nuke break. I don't think we actually care that much about any of that. Let's. Yeah. A white rider. You okay. okay with this? I mean, getting Freydine would actually be kind of nice, but. Okay, let me just make sure this is all going in our compendium. Like the compendium. These are the paths you have walked. Ooh, Legion. Okay, yeah, we go. The inmate needs our. Let's execute. What path do you want? You okay with this? Always avoid attacks from foes inflicted by ailments. That maybe a little gimmicky, but it is like decent. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Like Zeodyne. I mean, honestly, like a regenerate one actually isn't bad if we're going like physical skills. Like Sayo. Maybe take Garula. Uh, wind or nuke damage. It will take receive wind. extraordinary now for a reaper. I mean, like realistically, we have like every element on every persona at this point. So missing one element is not the end of the world. A gun boost. A maega. Uh, I'll actually probably swap that in. That. Uh, evil touch. Don't think we need. Foul breath. We just got rid of our thing. Yeah. Make a tropos. You okay with this? Belphegor and White Rider. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Probably intense focus. Oh wait, if we're just gonna get Zeodyne, sure. Why not? Let's do this. I oh maybe triple down. Uh 
fizz damage to all foes or gun damage to all foes. It will I'll do that. Then let us begin. Got a tropos. Elect boost. Uh, we do not need. We don't need a lek break. But Harati. You okay with this? We make get anything interesting. We cannot pass on Samsara. That's kinda ducky. Not terrible, but not impressive. We level up Unicorn a little more, we could get Kogaon. You okay with this? Ushinada. Ah. The more I look at this, the more I'm like, maybe what we have is actually Fusion. Yeah, I'm I'm content with what we have now. Be done already? What? Because I don't want to like fuse off. everything in case we can just like recruit them in the dungeon at some point and then they're like free basically uh, i will equip unicorn though because kogaon is pretty good i can feel it i'll reveal your true form Right, it's like immune to gun damage anyway. Psychokinetic moves should help here. Persona! This won't be a problem. There. Ooh, Joker! You're looking Don't cool! Hmm. Okay, anything else in this room we can st doesn't like it. True form. Oh, this is a different looking one. Ooh. Going down. It's weak and vulnerable to physical strikes. Let's go. Okay. That'll make this easy. Nice joker. Oh wait, do if we already know it's no sudden move. Nice joker. How do we know if we already have a Decarabia recruited? Okay. Oh, that's nice. The game just tells you. Alright, so we don't need Decarabia. So it's probably better to just check those and like try it you know especially in a case like that where you really lost nothing by trying it. that I'll reveal your true form you must be us. Uh, that one's just there. weird I don't know what it's gonna do it's over. take this we'll just do that Nice. Got a blank card? Nope. 
okay. I that can was feel an easy it. win. Let's go, Joker. Show me your true form. Surprise attack? Persona! Now just don't lose. There! Knocked him right off their feet! Nice, Joker! It's time. Go down! Knocked him right off their feet! Nice, Let's Joker! Let's go! Thank you for the help, Futaba. By the way, you seemed real fired up back when we first met. Was that an act Mona put you up to? You know, the beauty thingy? That was... um... I was trying to be a heroine of justice. Uh... You moron! Ever since I was young, people around me have never seen me for who I really am. They would be kind to me just to please my father, and would get money and presents in exchange. Adults, teachers, even friends. It seemed like everyone smiled at me for their own personal gain. That's why you kept the details of your family a secret at school. But the female superheroes I used to see on TV were so great. They always fought for others, not themselves. I wanted to be just like that. Everyone goes wild over heroes at some point. It's fine having some... Of course. What are you doing? Uh, huh? This is insane on so many levels. I thought I told you not to associate with vulgar people. That bastard. Him? Did he come into the palace too? No. He might look the same, but that isn't the real person. Remember what I explained to you earlier? You mean about the cognition thing? What are you mumbling about? Do you recall what I said before? That I would do my best for you. This is my answer to that. Are those... the rumored phantom thieves? I see. <laughs> You're handing them over to me as a plea for forgiveness. Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. You truly embody the Okumura motto. Very well, join me. Why do you only ever think about gains and losses? That's why the company has a bad reputation. All because you treat people like they're tools! To gain, you must give. One must be resolved to give even more if they wish to stand above others. We are on vastly different levels. And soon, I will rise to a new stage. The political world. The cold reality of kicking people down is a part of business. Virtue and sentiment are for losers. What a dweeb. Okumura Foods shall be the foundation of my victory. His company is just a stepping stone. Mr. Okumura. We don't need a girl who's been soiled by thieves. Unless you make some compromises. I can't introduce her to my father. She needn't be your lawful wife anymore. Take her as your lover or whatever it is you desire. Very well. I accept. Lover? I was raised under this company's wealth. I even accepted a political marriage for you. This is not what we discussed. Father, you want me to be that man's plaything just to satisfy your own ambitions? <laughs> Why fret? 
You should be overjoyed that you're fulfilling your role as an Okumura daughter. This is the only value you've had from the very beginning. So, even his own daughter's life is a commodity to him. I... Now, why don't you come to my place? Let's have fun. I'll play with you until I get bored. A high school fiance for what it's around. So vulgar. No! Haru's persona won't stand a chance against that. Don't worry. <laughs> she hadn't awakened to her real power. That's all. <laughs> been set you should know yes that gaze i can finally display my true strength i am thou thou art i let us adorn your departure into freedom with the beautiful huh? trail jeez farewell dear father i am no longer your subservient puppet then so be it you're worthless Hmm. Deal with them how you wish. You poor thing. I'll toy with you until you break. I don't expect you to come to reason at all. Uh-huh. We should have just told you this from the start, asshat. We are the Phantom Thieves. Here to take your bride! I assume we're going to be forced to use Haru in this fight. Thieves will steal from others need to be so I have no intentions of talking to you. For the sake of changing my father's heart, I cannot lose. So this is Haru's true power. Haru. All right, let's do this. Time to pummel that scummy jerk. Come. Touch them, Melody. Okay, you knocked one down. Opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. It's your turn. Right. On to the next. Persona. Ravage them. I guess we'll try this. Persona. There. Okay, Garu works. Persona. Ravage them. <laughs> Brain shake. Oh no. Well, that was over quickly. <laughs> you I did it I did it Monachan what were you saying about her persona being weak uh, he disappeared is that okay are you sure you taught her how things work in here I did or so I thought What's the point if she doesn't get it? Don't worry. Cognitive beings have no correlation to their real-world counterparts. You'll see when we get back. Then he's not dead? 
That's right. Dude, does this mean we got a new team? Good to have you. Purity has a code name. You can call me Noir. Noir? It means black in French. I'd like to be a heroine of justice, but the Phantom Thieves are on the darker side of the law. I chose the name Noir to remind me of that. There you have it. As long as she's into it. She created quite an elaborate backstory. Noir. I like it. It conveys a dignity that won't bow down to others. Thank you. Don't let your guard down, Noir. Our trip through the palace doesn't end. Yes, sir. Someone's talking all big again. Then... A chest! Talk about luck! Okay, um... Let's see, I don't know how far we are from a save area. Uh, we kind of need to find one soon. I feel like because we just did like a mini boss, they're probably going to throw one at us soon. Whoa, look at that. I can smell the treasure over in that direction. Hmm, that seems quite far off. We'll just have to keep going. I can feel it. Just try both of them. Okay, that looks more like Focus. a definite like path forward. I'll reveal your true form. Let's Never go. Never chance. Beat him up. Come. Go down. Knocked them right off their feet. Nice, Joker. Go. Not of done course. Yet. I actually might need to start running from these guys because otherwise, like, I might run out of SP just from, like, fighting them. And it's not like they give a ton of experience. Yeah, like, 200's not really that much to us at this point. Here we go. We needed this. Let's do it. Go ahead and save. And then that will be all from me tonight. Uh, if you watched, I hope you had fun. Uh, I should be back probably sometime this weekend. Uh, I might stream some Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I have actually been having a little bit of fun with Tier and Master. Uh, but also, Isaac was going well for us. Uh, totally happy to keep streaming that as well. Uh, I should write something. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you when I see you next.